Well, of course, one of the things that the last general election did achieve is it gave uh, Boris Johnson that big pro-Brexit majority and making it far harder for Remainer MPs to block sensible measures. And so for all the uh, bluster about the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill, it easily passed its second reading yesterday on the vote. 295 MPs voting for the bill uh, versus 221 voting against. 283 Conservative MPs uh, voted for it out of 359, but none voted against it, which is somewhat surprising, I guess, given uh, the likes of Theresa May, who I have to say is just cutting an increasingly uh, bitter figure, you know, after rolling over in the EU negotiations, botching a general election, then having the nerve to lecture Boris Johnson's government about the way forward. Of course, uh, May famously called for the UK to leave the ECHR whilst remaining in the EU. I suspect now, if Boris Johnson did come out and call for the UK to leave the ECHR, Theresa May uh, might oppose that now. Uh, but Theresa May, in some ways, actually, her criticism of the Brexit bill, actually not too dissimilar to what the EU's line is uh, on this, despite the fact that even the likes of Matt Hancock are now saying that the bill was both legal and necessary. Now, what's really interesting is, despite some of the sounding off uh, from the likes of Theresa May, not a single Conservative MP actually voted against this. So for all the criticism, uh, they abstained or Conservative MPs uh, voted for it. Now, you actually had 72 uh, Conservative MPs abstain. That could be down uh, to a combination of things, including threats of losing the whip. And I am one of those, I did a few videos saying actually that Boris Johnson should assert his authority. When you think of, for instance, the Conservative MP that voted against the no-deal Brexit, you know, those uh, who lost the whip and then stood at the next election as independents, like Dominic Grieve, like David Gould, got absolutely uh, obliterated. So I don't think Boris Johnson uh, should tolerate Remainer rebels trying to hold this bill up, or indeed the British Bill of Rights, or indeed the Brexit Freedoms Bill. But interesting to see that despite sounding off from the likes of Theresa May, not a single Conservative MP voting against this and it passing easily on second reading. Let me know what you make of that in the comments below, guys. I'll keep bringing you all the very latest on this and more, so please do wrap this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.